Wow, that's a lot of power for one card. I hope my gaming PC doesn't blow up in a ball of fire. I'm gonna show you guys exactly where you're gonna need to get the RTX 4090 to work on your gaming PC. So first of all, you're gonna need a minimum, a power supply that supports 850 watts. I have the Corsair AX 860, which has 860 watts of power, so I'm covered there. Next, you're gonna have to provide enough power from your power supply to this dongle that comes with the RTX 4090. So as you can see here, it has four eight pin PCIe connections. You only need to connect three, but if you want to be able to overclock the RTX 4090, you are gonna need to connect that fourth connection. And if we look on the other side here where it connects to the GPU, uh, there are some sensing pins on top. And this actually has an integrated circuit that's gonna detect how much power is going into the GPU and therefore, it will allow you to overclock it based on how much power is available to the GPU from your power supply. So you are kind of forced to use this dongle that's included with the RTX 490. Otherwise, you have to buy a new power supply that comes with the appropriate power to power the RTX 4090. Or you can wait to see if there's going to be some third party vendors that's going to sell kind of a special cable to connect to your power supply to get to this specialized connector here that's going to work with the RTX 4090. But since I wanna use my existing power supply, I don't wanna spend the money on upgrading, and I already have this dongle included free, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and I guess we'll see how it looks on my gaming PC. So this mess over here are the power cables that came with my power supply. So your power supply should include the cables you're gonna to need to run your RTX 4090. So included with my power supply, I had two sets of cables. This is the first set. I have two of these type of cables. One side connects to the power supply, the other is just one eight pin power connector that will connect to your GPU. Next, I have this other type of cable that connects to the power supply, but then on the other end that connects to your GPU, it has an eight pin power connector, but then daisy chained to that connector has another eight pin power connector. So it is not recommended to use the two cables from a daisy chain cable like this. They do want you to use four individual cables. That's why I'm gonna use these two cables that come with that dual kind of connector that is daisy chained and then the two regular straight cables that have the eight pin connector on one end. All right, and now let's take a closer look at the power supply and I'm gonna show you exactly where you would plug them in. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, it says six plus two PCIe and four plus four CPU. So any of those connections that you see there, there's five of them next to the 24 pin ATX connector. I can use any of those to plug in the PCI Express cables. I can also use this connector right here because it also is a six plus two PCIe and four plus four CPU connector. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all the top row, uh, probably these four here, for connecting the RTX 4090. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my cables. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my power supply and install all the power connectors for my gaming PC first before I do the GPU. And my power supply is gonna just slide down right in here. And this will be the back of it, which is this side here. Okay, and as you can see, that leaves me with one, two, three, four PCIe power connectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the GPU power cables from the dongle to here. One, two, three, and finally, the fourth connector for the GPU. All right, now that I have all the power connectors connected to my power supply, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this into my case and then screw it from the back so that it's secure. Okay, now I almost forgot to mention, make sure this fan is facing down. Okay, now I'll take the four screws and screw down the power supply to the case. All right, so we see here that the power supply is secured uh, with the screws. Here's the side over here, so it'll be easier to kind of route them through these grommets right here. I'm gonna try to go through this second one here instead of the top one. Let's start off with these uh, thick boys here. Okay, there's one cable through. All right, now I'm gonna do the second thick one. There we go, that one went in easier. And here's the other side, just so you can see. My GPU's gonna go right here where these three slots are. I do have an inverted case, so if it looks weird, sorry about that. Uh, but yep, here are the cables, and I'm gonna do the last two. And there we go, we have all four inserted into this grommet. Hopefully the side of my case will We'll close with all these thick cables. Might have to tie them down a bit, but we'll see. Okay, great, I have the four power cables here for the GPU. I'm gonna go ahead and put back this power dongle. There's one, there's two, there's three, 
Finally, there's four. We have all the power connectors we're gonna need for our RTX 4090. Wow, that looks pretty interesting. Kind of like a bunch of tentacles sticking out. I'm gonna see if I can tuck in most of this part to the back. There we go, I think that's the best I could do. And finally, now it's time to install the RTX 4090 Founders Edition. Here we go. So as a rule of thumb, you always wanna install it in the PCI Express port closest to your CPU. My CPU is right here, so I'm gonna install it here. And there we go just snap right in. I'm gonna go ahead and get the screws and secure it. Now it does help to have a screwdriver with a magnetic tip, such as this one. That way you can just put the screw like this and it's not gonna fall down. Sometimes you do have to kind of press the graphics card in the case in because the holes don't align too well. That's what I just did. And as we can see, the RTX 4090 Founders Edition is a three slot card. It's really just a little tiny fraction space uh, between it and the next PCI Express connector. Finally, the last screw. And that's it, all three screws are nice and secure. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the power connector to the GPU and here's a tab it's gonna go right up there and the sensing pin should go in the bottom and there you go you should hear a nice snap if you don't I would take it out and then put it back in and then one last check there's a fan here make sure that these cables are not touching the fan so I'm gonna go ahead and push these cables down there is gonna be a glass that goes on top. I don't want this to be like kind of pushing down, putting too much pressure on it. All right, and the only way for you to verify that everything's connected correctly is to go ahead and try it. So let's go ahead and do that now and try out the RTX 4090 Founders Edition on my gaming PC. All right, so moment of truth here. Here is the RTX 4090 fully installed on my gaming PC. As you can see there, the included dongle for the power connectors is installed and then i have four individual pci express cables coming from the power supply to the connector now i'm going to go ahead and flip the switch in the back of the power supply to turn the power supply on and then i'll press the power button on the computer to turn it on hopefully everything works right right so flip the switch in the back so you can see my aio cooler settings is set so that it does this little lighting effect even when the computer is off let's go ahead and hit the power button and hope that it turns on there we go oh nice GeForce RTX lights up and it looks like my computer's turning on. Great, uh, looks really sick. Like look at how thick it is. So here's the top and there's the bottom. My computer is inverted again, so it may look a little different than the traditional uh, setups. It looks like it's working, you guys. Okay, looking at my screen, it looks like the GPU driver is not installed yet. Go to the NVIDIA website and download the latest drivers for the GeForce RTX 4000 series, RTX 4090, and just do a search, and then hit download, and it looks like it's downloading it right here. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and launch the installer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do NVIDIA Graphics Driver in GeForce Experience, since that's what I usually use, and I'm gonna do Custom, and I'm gonna just go ahead and leave the default and hit Next. 